Welcome back, guys. So I just wanted to give an update today on some things going on with us um, for those who want to know. Uh, but for starters, I wanted to mention about uh, uh, people keep uh, complaining that they're not getting notified on my videos. So if you haven't already clicked all the buttons, I know all the buttons have changed into one button. There's a subscribe button in the bottom of the video. If you click on the down menu on it, if you click the bell that says all notifications and make sure that bell's highlighted, uh, you should receive all notifications for when I upload or post anything in the community tab. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it always works <laughs> because my husband is fully subscribed to my channel and has hit the bell icon for all notifications and he still doesn't get notified when I post something. So, but that would be the, the best option. Or if you are on my Facebook page, I try to post on there every time I post a video on here. I can't control like, you know, whether YouTube works properly or not on that, but that's like the best thing to try to do is to make sure that that icon is clicked for all notifications. There is something else I want to address and I've kind of addressed this in past videos before, but um, you know, I really don't understand people getting mad at me if I don't respond to their comment or if their email gets lost. I get a ton of emails on multiple media sites. Like I've got two emails, I've got the Facebook and you know Instagram and you know if somebody emails me and then like 10 other people email me, your email gets you know pushed down to the bottom. And I also get spammed like crazy. I am getting at least 20 sometimes per day of spam things of try this product, try that product. Like there's even people now asking me to test out you know baby car seats and it's like that's not what this channel is so it's obviously a spam thing so it's really hard for me to get to all the messages i am only one person and i'm also one person who is completely exhausted right now i am not only just a housewife which is a job in itself because in this house housewife also means yard work person <laughs> and uh, not that my husband doesn't help with that at times but i literally do everything in the house i'm, I'm literally taking care of 10 pets i'm also doing part-time work on my own as you know a dog walker and doing other side jobs trying to earn money and now I've also added on top of it a, another actual part-time job I am actually working for a grooming salon right now so I am completely exhausted I am I am spent and trying to do videos the fact that I've been able to do any this past month has shocked myself because I am tired editing takes a lot of time trying to find footage or getting the right shots like it's it's a job in itself but it's a job that doesn't pay like it pays in other ways like it pays for the fact that i'm helping out a cattle dog and stuff like that but just because i'm on youtube does not mean that i'm like banking it i don't know it's another thing i don't understand why people think that you know youtube back in the day i'm sure you know people made decent money on that just because you're monetized on here doesn't mean you're like banking it i'm not even anywhere near part-time job <laughs> kind of income from YouTube. I'm on, oh cool, I bought a bag of dog food income from YouTube. So my point is like all my little part-time jobs is making me work basically like full-time hours on top of everything I've got to take care of here and then even my mother, which now I'm freaked out about the fact I took the job because she fell the other day when I was at work and the paramedics had to come here. She's fine by the way, but you know, there's, there's a lot going on here for one person. So yeah, please stop sending me nasty messages about not responding to you about, you know, fixing your dog. That's not my problem. And that might be to some people crappy to say, but it's really not my problem that your dog's having issues. That's on you to figure out what your dog, what's going on with your dog. I'm more than willing to give my two cents and give my advice when I can. But um, some of the things I'm getting messaged about, like that information's already on this channel. There's videos on this channel regarding on how to fix that. but. If you're not willing to take the time to research or to, you know, try to, yeah, I, again, I'm one person. I'm trying not to like come off as mean about this, but it's like, like I have, there's no editing crew here. It's all me that does this. You know, and the main reason I, I took more employment on top of everything else I do is, you know, we need money for medical bills and food. Like prices are going up ridiculous on, on so much stuff. And I'm struggling to feed my birds because the bird food cost is just insane. So I needed to find something more steady to bring him a better income. And I never thought I'd get back into grooming, but um, yeah, a few of the places I applied for before I took this particular job, like I'm just kind of appalled at what some places were saying they do at their facilities when it comes to dog care and doggy daycare and grooming and stuff. So um, I'm actually having somewhat issues 
at this place. Um, there's some things that go on there that I am just not okay with and I didn't run my grooming business this way and I'm not actually like a full, I'm kind of like the grooming salon bitch, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of like what it feels like um, because I'm working in all the departments with the doggy daycare. I'm doing full grooms that aren't haircuts even though I did my first shave down or at least helped with the shave down uh, the other day for, on a seven month old puppy who sadly got very matted in its undercoat so the whole thing had to get shaved and uh, that it really broke my heart that the first time I've held clippers in seven years that I had to shave down this seven month old puppy. <laughs> I was under the impression I could potentially get back into grooming at this place but I don't uh, think that's going to happen. I'm just being used as reception and wherever they need me kind of things. Yeah, medical bills and food is like th the main reason we need more income because we're literally going in debt trying to take care of everybody here and that's just can't happen anymore. And I also want to go back to school and, you know, get more certifications in grooming. I also want to go to school for vet medicine potentially someday, but all that costs money. And at this point, we're starting to think about maybe starting up my grooming business again, which I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but there's all these things that we want and want to achieve and we just can't do that with, you know, online stuff, you know, like, well, I guess we could, if I was obsessed with, you know, posting literally everything about my life on the internet, maybe that would be an income. I don't, the, the, some of the channels I see people watch, like, or even like the mukbang, maybe I should start doing mukbang, you know, because <laughs> apparently that's, you know, how you can make millions, which is just very strange to me. And I wouldn't do that anyway, because I'm trying to go in the reverse direction. I'm trying to lose weight, not add more pounds. But you, you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm not obsessed with posting all the time. I'm not obsessed with checking my phone. And that's probably my downfall on being a YouTuber. But because, I mean, if, if I was, I think that's how people do make money, is they're literally posting constantly, like, daily. And I, I can't do that. Like, I don't even remember half the time when there's a cute moment happening with my dogs like oh I should bust out my phone and record it for the internet like it's I don't have that mindset but anyway I, I feel like I'm getting off track on so much here but like, and we do someday want to possibly move like I know that's been a, another thing a lot of people keep telling me is that we should move I'm always amazed that people are like oh just up and move you know it's, it's not that hard and it's like well it kind of like where do you live where you're where it's easy because you know if you look at currently right now how mortgage interest rates are and things like it's just not no I'm, I'm too secure and stable here like yes the neighborhood has gone like completely downhill and I agree with a lot of you I should move it's loud it's noisy when we first moved in to this place you know it was all you heard was the train and church bells it was so quiet and peaceful in, in our neighborhood and just it's gotten so much worse as the years have gone by especially in the last four years like the crime that we see happen sometimes, the drug houses, yes, I would I would love to move, um, it, which sucks because I absolutely adore this house. I, I know this house through and through, especially after the remodel we did on it. So it's like, but you know, there's another factor. I would have to find a house that would be okay for my mother because she lives here and we remodeled the bathroom downstairs for her benefit. You know, it's, we don't have that kind of... <sighs> We don't have that kind of cash to do that again to another house, so it's got to be the perfect house to move to with land because I would love to give the babies more land. There are many reasons why it can't happen, but I appreciate the concern. Um, some good news though, one of the drug houses did move out, so yay! <laughs> so we got rid of one of them. You know, and I'm sure someone's going to complain about me sharing too much personal information and that, you know, nobody wants to hear about this on this channel. You know what? I don't care. It's my channel. I do what I want. <laughs> I have that cattle dog attitude of I do what I want. And um, so there's that. But also some people do want to know. Some people care. Some people want to know way more than I'm willing to probably share on a lot of things. But, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll do a Q&A someday on, on personal stuff or something. But either way, the whole point of all of this is just to give an update on, on things. So we're all healthy. None of us are dying. We're just, you know, struggling <laughs> with, with, with life and we're working our butts off to make life better because, um, yeah, God, I would love to groom again. I never thought in a million years I'd get back into grooming. Like there was a reason why I shut down and there's a reason why it's been seven years since I've like really, well, I've groomed my own dogs, but like I haven't done you know, haircuts or whatever in seven years. But yeah, there's, that could be a whole other video someday. I can share the whole story about what happened with my 
grooming business and stuff. But um, yeah, so you might see some posts of different dogs. Maybe I'll sneak some pictures from work because um, there's been some cuties coming in. And please don't think I'm posting this to like ask for money or anything like that. That drives me nuts too. Like I'm not asking for anything. You guys have given me plenty. You guys have saved my dog for for Pete's sake, so um, <laughs> I'm always gonna be grateful for that. That's not what I'm saying. I feel weird about talking about this stuff a little bit on online because it is financial stuff. But anyway, I just, yeah, we're just doing what everybody else is, is doing. We're just trying to survive this messed up world, right? <laughs> but um, I still will try to be posting weekly. I'm just, I'm very exhausted. And on my days off, don't they don't feel like days off because it's, I'm running around doing the grocery shopping and running all the errands I can't get to during the week with work and it's just I'm I'm struggling the babies are struggling too they are very unhappy on mommy's long days because like some days I'm going to both the grooming salon and uh walking the dogs so I'm gone for a really long time so like they it's been a month now and they still haven't adjusted and I still haven't adjusted I actually almost cried at work um because I was missing them so bad because I was working with on some working dogs and uh it was really making me miss mine because it was a long day and uh, and then one of those working dogs actually was named Gracie which reminded me of the Gracie I fostered and then when she was put back in her uh, kennel when she was finished her bark um, almost sent me into a crying frenzy because I've never heard a dog bark like silver yeah hearing that sent me uh, I really had to hold it together <laughs> as I was paving her brother. But anyway, um, I don't know where I was going with this. I think I'm just trailing off on stuff now. Where was I going with this? I don't know. But I guess that's going to be it for today's vlog video. Um, since I've, you know, like normal, my brain's just traveled off somewhere else <laughs> on topics. But um, I really appreciate all you guys watching and sticking through everything with us and caring about our little healer family. And we'll just, you know, see what happens in the future and just, uh, yeah, just stop sending me nasty messages. Send me pictures of your dogs or something. That would be better. I mean, like, you're putting me in a bad mood saying mean things and, you know, talking about my yard needs to be resodded and my house painted. It's like, I know this stuff. I'm fully aware of the things I need to fix in my life. So I don't need to be reminded of it. Just send me the dog pictures. Anyway, I hope all of you are doing well. Um, I know some of you are in the in same boat, if not worse, than what we're going through here. But I do hope you all are well, and I wish you all many blessings. And, um, yeah, we will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.